No, no, no. This is Miss Mouse. This is my Miss Mouse. This is my Miss Mouse. <laughs> so, da, 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 da. Yeah, it's recording. So this is Femi Smiles. This is not Femi Smiles. It's not Femi Smiles. <laughs> it is Femi Smiles. It's not Femi Smiles. Uh oh, who is it? Anyway, today um, I want to show you how I have to help teach my kids English because we live in Japan and um, school's in Japanese but yeah how can this boy speak the Queens and this one also speak the Queens let me just show you what I've done so far to help them so far and things that I'm doing and maybe you've got some advice too all right cool so the first and like I think the most important thing is for me to do is to speak to my kids in English like constantly like I hardly ever speak to them in Japanese I did one video where um, I spoke to him in Japanese and all he did was hi and I did another video where I'd vlog for the day in Japanese Kyoa, daddy day Nihongo de Again! Doikoto But generally, I speak to them in English all the time and the rule, general rule is if I'm at home the language spoken is English as well so try and keep that English environment because yeah, school's Japanese so they'll get that naturally and I try as much as I can to speak to my wife in uh, English but a lot of times I speak to her in Japanese but I'm trying to focus on that and just speak. Is that your, your contribution? And uh, someone's messing with the lighting Hey, you're my lighting director So yeah, so I speak to both of them in English and keep it as cockney as possible, you know what I mean? <laughs> So another thing we do is uh, read books, right? read books, all different types of books like uh, we've got some Star Wars books, another Star Wars book, Darth Vader and Son and sometimes um, I read Japanese Daddy, books but Daddy, yeah Daddy. And Nikori. so I read, if I read a Japanese book I will try and translate it so I would, Daddy, instead of reading Daddy, the Japanese text, Daddy, me because I can speak, I'll say oh, oh, could this soft Bear, squeeze, squeeze. Nikori. Oh, oh no. Where's mum? I'm looking after kids by myself today. Finished. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, yeah. So now that we're on the subject of books, I want to tell you about a book by Tara Kamiya in her brownie series, which is called Princess Momo. Oh, so Princess Momo is about a Blasian girl, black, Asian, Blasian. Got it? Cool. I'm not going to spoil the story, it's a really good story actually. And it has a really good um, moral to it. So I really like how the way it ends and the way they tie morals into the story. The dilemma is that she has to stop wearing her princess dress because she's going to start going to, to big school and you can't wear whatever you want. You have to wear a uniform okay. and then how she deals with that. That happened to me, I had to stop wearing my princess dress as well. And I know how that, it might seem like a small issue to you, but sometimes kids want to wear what they want to wear. But this outfit is selected by Princess Mimi. So yeah, in the book, um, Princess Momo's dad is Japanese and her mum is black. Um, African American. Mm -hmm. It's really good to have representation. I think it's the first book I've got where it actually has a, a Blasian person in it. So, yeah, so you <coughs> bless you. So you can see someone and say, Oh, that's me. It's Mimi. Where's Mimi? Yay, Mimi, I like you. So I've got, now I've got links in the description below. So check it out and check out Talakamiya. I'm sure she's got more books to come in this brownie series. So we've got some representation, right? Obviously we're in Japan and um, television all of that's Japanese so um, I make sure that my son watches an English show. Okay, whatever show he likes. Luckily Pokemon, we've got Pokemon in English and he knows the Pokemon theme tune as well. So um, that's good. So obviously he still gets to watch his Japanese shows but I make sure that, you know, watching at least the first show of the day is English and maybe sandwich some English shows in between and yeah, it's good. So he gets to, you know, hear it as well, apart from me, because I'm the only input source when he's got TV as well. And usually they're probably, um, kids are like, they don't want to watch it. But if it's like, oh, you know, you can watch two sh two shows. So he gets to watch double. You can watch one in Japanese and one in English. And then he's like, okay. And I'll let him choose which order he can watch them in. That's what I did today. So he can watch the Japanese one first and the English one second. But, you know, anyhow, as long as they eat their vegetables, right? Another thing you can do is uh, sing songs, ABC. A, B, C, D, E, F, D, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, B. So now we've moved on to the more active side of things. So you can sing, read together. So not you reading, the child actually reads. 
And to help with that, um, I recommend learning uh, phonics, the basic phonics, and also sight words. Sight words are words that you should be able to recognize on sight. Sometimes they're not phonetically correct, okay? Like, um, what, W-H-A-T, you, you know, think of it like W-O-T, right? But what, so words like that. So I make um, flashcards, um, sight word flashcards, and I give my son a few to read in the morning, just a few, like two or three, not anything taxing, and just read that before he starts uh, you know his day so a couple of these just use crayon and just make them make them visible i also use uh, worksheets like simple worksheets and not like tons and tons of worksheets just to get them to practice writing uh, letters and you know doing that because they're not going to learn it in school so you have to be responsible for that just a little by little um it's a marathon not a sprint so even if it's one word a day or one letter a day it's going to add up to something so those are things um i generally recommend i've taught uh, in junior high school, elementary school in Japan and I've taught as a kindergarten teacher for three years so I've got a little bit of experience but I would recommend going online searching for any like worksheets or kindergarten type worksheets for English and just doing a little bit but make sure that you are in involved don't just put, give them a worksheet and run away like stay together, work on something and yeah you'll be surprised at how much the kids will learn okay so yeah that's um, some of my tips for you know, helping your child be bilingual because a lot of them um, I've met a lot of kids that were maybe you know English and Japanese but they couldn't speak English and I thought I oh, don't want my child to be like that no offense to anybody but I just wanted to give them their head start because I have me here so instead of my broken Japanese why not my king's English because man is a king you get me this one's sleepy so say bye bye goodbye <laughs> let me smiles out Nikori! Nikari! Nikari! Nikari!